Hey everybody, Dieter Kurtenbach here at Toyota Center in Houston. The Warriors just got done with their shoot around before game five, game five tonight, eight o'clock central time, six o'clock Pacific here in Houston. Uh, this is a big one. And the Warriors still don't know if they're going to have Andre Iguodala for this game. Clay Thompson, who was injured in game four, went to the locker room a little bit there in the first half. Uh, it's a ankle, knee. They haven't really been all that clear on what it was. Uh, he is expected to play, according to Steve Kerr. Uh, participated fully in shoot around, all that. Andre Iguodala did not fully participate in shoot around. He was out on the court. I saw him shooting around uh, as we came into the arena. But. It's a shoot around, you know, he's still getting treatment. He is considered a game time decision for this game. And, and this game is very, I mean, all these games for the last couple have been pivotal. It's a two really good teams, but I think for the first time we're seeing the Warriors actually give the respect to the Rockets that they probably deserved. Uh, after you win by 41 and then kind of choke away a game in game four, you really don't have any choice but to give respect to your opponent. But the Rockets coming back from not one but two punches in game four has really turned this series on its head. The injuries for the Warriors, of course, huge, but the Warriors simply need to respect what the Rockets are going to do, understand that the Rockets aren't going to go away if they do have a nice 12 nothing run to start the game if they do have that third quarter spurt that this is going to be a difficult fight against a team that has proven to be a worthy adversary in this series and the Warriors will probably be better ask Steve Kerr because you look at all the things that went wrong in game four what was the what was the biggest one and he said it was execution which kind of goes without saying of course the Warriors didn't execute well they scored 12 points in the fourth quarter but it makes a lot of sense when you look back on game four you notice not a lot of guys running very hard after they went up 12 nothing a lot of guys really struggled after they had that third quarter run. It's about maintaining the focus, maintaining the force, as Steve likes to say, and really just maintaining strong energy levels throughout the game. That's something that Kerr can help them with, with his rotations. The Warriors only got about seven and a half deep, and they looked really tired in game four. We'll see how Steve switches that up with his rotations, if he does anything at all for game five. The Rockets are doing the same thing, so it's not like it's that good of an excuse for Golden State. But this is a big one, and, and if you, if any of these Warriors have been holding anything back, this is the game to let it out. If you win this one, you go back, you have a chance to win and clinch the series at home in Game 6. And if not, you have another chance in Game 7. You have to come back here, and that's obviously not ideal, but you have another chance in Game 7. You lose this one, you have to win back-to-back -back games to go to your fourth straight NBA Finals. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's all riding in many ways on this game. We'll have to see what happens. I, I couldn't tell you what happens after what happened in game four. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, until then, Dieter Kurtenbach, Bay Area News Group. Talk to you later tonight.